Picture this. The year is 1894, and the first commercial motion picture exhibition takes place in New York City. This was a time when the world was on the cusp of a technological revolution. A time when the American film industry was just a newborn, taking its first steps. And at the heart of it all was an inventor, a visionary by the name of Thomas Edison. His creation, the kinetoscope, was the first step in what would become a journey of a thousand miles. The kinetoscope was nothing short of a marvel. It was a peephole viewer that used a loop of 35mm film to create the illusion of movement. Edison's invention was a sensation, a novelty that quickly spread across the country, sparking the imaginations of audiences and innovators alike. But the world of cinema was still in its infancy. The first films were silent, a visual narrative that relied on exaggerated expressions, pantomime, and title cards to tell their stories. These silent films, like the iconic The Great Train Robbery or Charlie Chaplin's timeless comedies, were the stepping stones to something greater. Yet, as the 1920s came to a close, a seismic shift was on the horizon. The silent era was giving way to a new dawn, the era of talkies. With the introduction of synchronized sound, films like The Jazz Singer shattered the silence, bringing characters to life with their voices. This was a time of experimentation and innovation. Filmmakers were exploring the potential of this new medium, and audiences were eager for the thrilling experience of hearing as well as seeing the drama unfold on the silver screen. From the humble beginnings with the kinetoscope, to the silent films and then the talkies, the American film industry was always evolving, always pushing the boundaries. And as the silent era was drawing to a close, it was on the brink of another transformation, another leap into the unknown. Just as the silent era was coming to an end, the American film industry was about to enter a golden age. As the curtain rose on the 1930s, the American film industry was about to enter what many consider its golden age. The 1930s through the 1950s bore witness to a period of unprecedented creativity and technical innovation in Hollywood. This was the era of the major film studios, often referred to as the Big Five, Paramount, Warner Brothers, RKO, 20th Century Fox, and MGM. These studios not only controlled film production and distribution, but also owned the theaters where their movies were shown. The star system was another hallmark of this golden age. Studios would groom actors and actresses for stardom, crafting their public images and signing them to exclusive contracts. These stars became household names and their faces graced movie posters across the country. Think Clark Gable, Humphrey Bogart, Katherine Hepburn, and Judy Garland, all legends who owe their fame to the star system of this era. The Golden Age was also a time of great films, classics like Gone with the Wind, Casablanca, and The Wizard of Oz defined the era. These films not only entertained audiences, but also gave them an escape from the harsh realities of the Great Depression and World War II. Speaking of the war, it had a profound impact on the film industry. With many men overseas, women took on more prominent roles in films, both on and off screen. War-themed films also became popular, offering a blend of patriotism, heroism, and heartbreak that resonated with audiences. But as the war ended and the dust settled, the golden age of Hollywood began to dim. The introduction of television, the breakup of the studio system, and a shift in societal attitudes all contributed to its decline. The golden age of Hollywood set the stage for the American film industry, but a new era of change was on the horizon. Post-World War II brought about significant changes in the American film industry. In the aftermath of the war, the previously dominant studio system started to wane. The Supreme Court's landmark decision in the mid-20th century, the United States vs. Paramount Pictures case, severely limited the power of the major studios. This ruling ended the practice of block booking, where studios could force theaters to buy bundles of films, sight unseen. It also prohibited studios from owning their own theaters. This ruling, along with other factors like the rise of television, led to the decline of the studio system. Television, a new medium, began to take center stage. Families could now enjoy entertainment from the comfort of their homes, leading to a significant decrease in cinema attendance. The film industry had to find new ways to compete. They began producing fewer but more expensive films, hoping that the spectacle of cinema would draw audiences away from their television sets. But out of these challenging times, a new movement emerged, known as New Hollywood or the American New Wave. This was a period marked by greater creative control for directors and a shift towards more personal, experimental, and provocative films. 
This era gave rise to a new generation of filmmakers, who were often film school graduates rather than studio apprentices. Films like Bonnie and Clyde and Easy Rider defied traditional narrative structures and themes, reflecting the changing social and political climate of the time. Directors like Francis Ford Coppola, Martin Scorsese, and Steven Spielberg, who would later become some of the most influential filmmakers in Hollywood, rose to prominence during this period. New Hollywood was a time of innovation and change, of pushing boundaries and challenging norms. It was a time when the auteur, or author theory of filmmaking, where the director is viewed as the primary creative force behind a film, really took hold. This era of transition paved the way for the modern American film industry. And as we'll see in our next chapter, the innovations and disruptions of this period would continue to shape the landscape of American cinema. The turn of the 21st century ushered in a new era for the American film industry. As the calendar flipped to the new millennium, the film industry was on the cusp of a digital revolution that would forever alter the way movies were made, distributed, and exhibited. Digital technology began to seep into every facet of film production. From special effects to sound design, from editing to cinematography, the digital tools at filmmakers' disposal were becoming more advanced and more accessible. This technological transformation allowed for increased creativity and experimentation, pushing the boundaries of what was possible on the big screen. The digital revolution also democratized the film production process. High-quality cameras and editing software became affordable for the average person, paving the way for the rise of independent films. Directors and producers outside the traditional Hollywood system were now able to bring their unique visions to life and reach audiences on a global scale. On the other side of the coin, the digital revolution also bolstered the domination of blockbuster films. High-budget productions utilized cutting-edge technology to create visually stunning and immersive experiences. These films, often part of franchises or cinematic universes, dominated the box office and became cultural phenomena. But the impact of the digital revolution was not limited to production. It also revolutionized film distribution and exhibition. The advent of streaming platforms offered a new way for audiences to consume films at their convenience, from the comfort of their homes. This shift in viewing habits has had a profound impact on the industry, influencing the types of films that are made and how they are marketed. The digital revolution has forever changed the landscape of the American film industry. It has torn down barriers, challenged norms, and birthed new possibilities. It's an exciting time to be a part of the film industry as we continue to ride the wave of this digital revolution into uncharted cinematic territories. As we gaze into the future, the American film industry continues to evolve and adapt. What does this evolution look like? Well, for starters, there's a significant shift toward digital platforms. Streaming giants like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus are becoming the new powerhouses of cinema. These platforms are not only challenging the traditional distribution model, but they're also creating their own original content, blurring the lines between cinema and television. And it's not just about how we watch films, but also about what we watch. The call for diversity and representation in film has never been louder. Audiences are hungry for stories that reflect the richness and complexity of their own experiences. As a result, we're seeing more films that center around underrepresented groups, and this trend is likely to continue. The American film industry is gradually recognizing that diversity isn't just a buzzword, it's a necessity. Looking ahead, emerging technologies like virtual reality and interactive cinema are poised to redefine the cinematic experience. Imagine this, instead of merely watching a story unfold on the screen, you could step into it. You could explore the world of the film, interact with the characters, and even influence the storyline. This isn't just a flight of fancy, it's a real possibility. Major tech companies are already investing heavily in these areas, and it's only a matter of time before these technologies make their way into mainstream cinema. But with all these changes, one thing remains constant, the magic of storytelling. No matter how we consume films or what kinds of stories are told, the power of cinema to captivate, inspire, and move us endures. The American film industry, ever the chameleon, continues to evolve, promising a future as exciting and unpredictable as its past.